exile. <laughs> That's probably what Doctor would call my escapade. You know what? They'd probably be right. The truth is, human civilization is changing. Our society is becoming more reliant on technology, and for better or worse, that's the danger to our species. I think our species has forgotten who we are, where we came from. Bottom line is, we are all animals. And just like animals, we originated from the wild. From the earth. It really is astounding how much we take for granted from our inventions. Even with the tools that we have. Centuries ago, in a time of cavemen, we were reduced to wood and fire. Those are the tools we had. Compared to the human populace, I have to be the only white guy living alone in solitude. Don't quote me though, I could be wrong. Why, you may ask? Because our species is doomed. The futurists believe our machines will eventually overpower us. And it's already started. Considering Maslow's scale, my survival is based on a psychological level. All I need is food, the animals for which I hunt, the warmth that is only the clothes for which I wear on my back, tools that I use for defensive action, water, an abundant resource I have the luxury to. Shelter? Well, I guess you could say the whole damn forest is my dwelling. I don't keep anything electrical on me. I use the world as my reference and guide. I calculate the timing of the day by the position of the sun. Fire. That's the only technology I possess. I survive on my own, in the natural environment of our planet. Sure, it gets windy. Sure, the weather can be a bitch, and yes, I'm dependent on natural resources. But I wouldn't trade my lifestyle for anything. Both of my parents passed away from brain cancer. I'll bet it was because of their exposure to too many machines. As for the rest of my family, well, we're not exactly on speaking terms. I've been living here for about two years now. 
I don't plan on going back to the processed world. It's all corrupt. With all the advances in technology, I predict that humans will become slaves to machines within 40 years. Mindless drones of the Matrix, if you will. But I'm not going to be around to witness that. I'll spend the rest of my life here, surviving off the earth, the wind, fire, and water. The natural elements of this forsaken planet. I could be paranoid in my beliefs, but I'm probably not wrong.